Energy drink commercials that offer natural health benefits are often convincing, but how healthy are these drinks? In this week's Healthy Living, Anna Stanislau takes a look at the risks involved with the popular drinks. <laughs> it's a quick pick-me-up and a boost of energy for many, especially for students. Usually you just need it for that quick burst during class. Like, if you're dying in class of just can't stay awake, it picks you up so much quicker than anything else because you just get that quick surge of caffeine you're good to go for the rest of the class. I don't like coffee. <laughs> I hate coffee. don't like the taste of it. I like energy drinks. It's, it's like a pop. The quick burst that energy drinks promise may last for a few hours, but according to a local doctor, the caffeine and sugar content in most of the drinks outweigh the benefits. Some of them also have a lot of uh, berry extracts and berry juices and they're antioxidants and yeah, some of them do. But um, if you look at the caffeine content and uh, sugar content, they're quite high, the calorie content. Dr. Saeed says three cups of coffee would be a normal dosage. Four more cups is an overdose, but some energy drinks can equal as much as five cups of coffee. They, they're not, not really helping you much. They give you a short-term boost and you feel good and you stay awake, but you know, you're just interfering with the body's normal mechanisms. The side effects vary for everyone. The symptoms could be an irregular heartbeat to nervousness. Sometimes I get the shakes. It's it happens. But I mean, but I, if I tell people who drink five cups of coffee, what's the difference if you drink one energy drink, right? Dr. Saeed says there are other healthy alternatives to energy drinks. Drink regular juice if you're exercising, you know, um, regular diet. You follow the Canada Health Food uh, Health Guide. They're, they're, all, they're all there. But for Jesse, he says energy drinks give a faster boost than anything else, even if he experiences fatigue by the end of the day. In moderation, I guess you can make it healthy. And we've actually looked the same sugar content to one monster for a V8 fusion, actually. Really? Yes. But the caffeine content would probably be more than... Yeah, there's no say. caffeine in the V8. Anna Stanislaw, New Cap News. News now, another case of club root has shown up in Saskatchewan and canola farmers in the province are being told to keep an eye out for the pesky disease. Kyle Gallagher has more. Canola growers are being told to seed carefully this season after the discovery of another club root positive field in west central Saskatchewan. On Tuesday, SAS Canola, the province's Canola Development Commission, announced that another field has club root. This has got to be understood that it's at a very low level at this point, but it is, it is showing that we may have an increasing incidence of cases in, in Saskatchewan uh, in, uh, and that accordingly we... We need to be proactive. This is the third appearance of the crop ailment in Saskatchewan after it was found in a pair of fields in the north central region in 2011. Canola producers are being asked to follow the protocols laid out in the Saskatchewan Club Root Management Plan. The disease can be very costly to farmers. It's a spore that's in the, in the ground and it, it infects the root zone, the, the root of the plant, and it, uh, it makes it a whole lot less able to take nutrients and it will, uh, it will greatly uh, decrease the yield of canola. And SAS Canola is always looking to stay ahead of the disease. Over the last few years, the organization has invested about a million dollars in club root research. It aims at reducing the, the risk of... Uh, of the spread of club roots by, uh, by finding uh, more resistant uh, varieties or genetics and also uh, dealing with, uh, with ways to, uh, to contain the disease. Early detection and containment are key in combating the disease. It's all about being ready. It's, uh, it's, just, like, um, it's just like a person having cancer. Uh, if, if it is taken at a very early stage, it, it, can, be, uh, it can be healed and it can be w dealt with. If, uh, if we let it spread, uh, then it's, it's, uh, it becomes a catastrophe. For more information, you can visit clubroot.ca. Kyle Gallagher, New Cap News.